What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. This time we're doing things a little bit differently. Uh, this is a user suggested deck. So uh, if you're not on our Discord, uh, we have a good friend on there, Turn One Soul Ring, who suggested this list. A uh, bit of a Nar uh, Narset Typhoon list is the way it was described. Uh, and it's actually really interesting. It's got some cool ideas. Uh, I have play tested with it just a little bit. I do think it has some issues, but we'll talk about that as we go through the games. So. Uh, to kind of put this in perspective, the idea is to kind of ramp up, uh, get something like a Narset or a Calyx down, uh, hopefully play out some enchantments, either the Whirlwind of Thought, uh, Shark Typhoon, or along the way the Wolf Willow Haven, uh, using uh, the minus three on Calyx to kind of peg things to your enchantments so that way you can kind of keep the board clear and then take over the game with the shark typhoon we've got sweepers and some oath of kai's here to kind of help us get there so uh the idea in the two drop slot here is we've got paradise druid as well as well as the wolf willow wolf willow haven uh and grow spiral all of which are going to help ramp us into some of these bigger spells here uh to fairy great tempo play obviously just in here to kind of draw some cards bounce some stuff uh, Oath of Kaya, also very, very good at clearing the board, uh, especially against some early aggressive decks. Uh, Shatter the Sky, a great sweeper uh, as well. Uh, if if we do find ourselves against like a Boros Cycler deck where they're going wide or something like that, this is really the card that we're going to be wanting. Uh, Calyx, interesting card in this deck. So uh, the plus one here does hit a few different things. So it hits the Haven, it hits the Oath of Kaya, Whirlwind, and Shark Typhoon. And again, the idea of trying to get Shark Typhoon down as quickly as possible. So this is going to help us get there. Uh, and then, like I said, you can also peg things to it to remove enchantments or creatures from the opponent's board, uh, which is really, really crucial. Uh, Narset of the Ancient Way, also a bit of a ramper uh, for us, which is really, really nice. But uh, also a really nice way to kind of clear the board. You can minus two. Uh, obviously, we've got quite a few kind of three, four, uh, and even higher mana cost cards. So uh, we can deal with most things things uh, by just kind of burning them out with Narsa, which is quite nice. Uh, not only that, but we do get to gain a little bit of life if we're plussing her up and ramping into, again, that Shark Typhoon. So very, very powerful. Uh, Whirlwind of Thought here, a very, very good value spell in this deck. Obviously, we don't run any creatures, uh, so every spell that we cast uh, is going to be drawing us a card, which is really, really nice. Uh, and then again, in terms of value, Shark Typhoon is our finisher. Uh, every time we cast a non-creature spell, which again is all of our deck, uh, we get an XX blue uh, flying shark, which is, this is one of my favorite cards right now, by the way, and Akoria is awesome. Uh, we can also cycle it away if we feel the need, uh, but certainly the idea is to play this out as soon as possible, get a lot of value here. Uh, as far as the lands go, I believe we're running 26, which is a little bit high, but given what we're trying to do, I think it does kind of make sense, especially with the gross spirals. Uh, this is technically a five color deck. Uh, we do have four plains, one island, two mountains, and two forests. Uh, technically no swamps, uh, though we do need black for uh, Oath of Kaya, which we're getting from Godless Shrine, as well as a few uh, tri lands. Uh, one steam vents, four temple garden, three breeding pool, uh, we have the Ketria Triome, uh, the Endatha Triome, which is, again, going to help us get that black, and the Regrin Triome. Uh, so that is the deck. It is an interesting one. This thing is a monster. We'll see if we can get some wins with it. I have a little bit of uh, spec skepticism, is the word I'm looking for, uh, only because it's a... It's a I think this is a really cool idea. Um, my issue is I think standard is a little bit too quick for it, at least in the best of one ladder, uh, to truly make it work. That being said, I'm hoping to be proven wrong. Uh, and regardless, I do certainly appreciate the uh, the fact that uh, Turn 1 Soul Ring did submit this, so thank you. Um, not the most exciting hand in the world, but we do have the Paradise Druid to help ramp us, and we have some cycling lands here, so if we need to, we can certainly cycle those away. We can lead off on the Endatha Triumph uh, and cycle the Regrin away, uh, if need be, uh, or vice versa. Uh, maybe it's better to lead on this one. We'll see what we draw here. Uh, with that, I think I'm going to lead on this. Um, this provides red for us, uh, but this really gives us the red for the Narset, which is really crucial. 
Um, and then, of course, Paradise Druid going to provide us some mana ramp as well. Looks like we are against a Yorian control deck, my guess at least. Uh, that's a very good draw. Um, let's go ahead and play the planes out here. And we'll just play out Paradise Druid. And uh, see what we're going to be up against or what they're going to be doing. Uh, what's nice about this is Calyx does actually deal very well with a lot of the enchantments and things like that on the opponent's side. Uh, these Yorian decks tend to run a good number of enchantments. So the assumption here is that we'll hopefully be able to hit at least something with it. So... We will see what we can do. Uh, do just want to mention, um, anybody is welcome to submit decks. You can do it in any way you feel most comfortable with. You can do that via YouTube comments. Uh, if you are in our Discord, which you're welcome to join if you're not already, you can certainly do it there as well. Um, any, any way that you feel is necessary, feel free to uh, share that with us. You can even just email it to us if you'd like. Looks like they're going to probably just kill that. Makes sense. Um, Let's go ahead, let's plus this up. Unfortunately, don't hit anything there. Uh, and that's... I think we have enough enchantments in the deck uh, that that's okay, but certainly doesn't feel good when you miss on a on a Calyx. Um, sure. All right. Uh, getting a lot of lands. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and plus up. Oath of Kai is nice. So is Whirlwind, I'll be honest. But, uh, excuse me, given this, let's go ahead and take this. Let's drop it and go ahead and peg one of these guys. Um, and then let's play this out. Don't know if that's 100% the right call, but definitely what we're going to be doing here. Um, they can start kind of attacking in at Calyx just to keep him off of ultimate if they would like. But now that they are only down to one, uh, that makes it a little bit more difficult. Interesting, they can bounce Calyx now. Don't know if that's worth it or not, to be honest. No, okay, I see. That makes sense. Uh, are they short on land, though? I believe they've missed a land drop. Um, it's actually fine by us. Great to have that Oath of Kaya. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's do this. We're going to take this uh, and peg it here. Just so if they do get that Yorian out, we're in a much better position. Now, this does leave us open to the Omen of the Forge here, uh, which may or may not be a bit of a mistake, but we're going to do the best we can. So let's do this. And I think we're just going to pass leaving up a cycled Shark Typhoon uh, to hopefully eat this uh, and then be able to swing in at the Teferi the following turn. We'll see what they want to do. They did get their fourth land. Huh. Okay. This is my worst I don't hate that, to be honest. That's kind of fine. Um, let's Shark Typhoon here for three. Just gives them something to have to answer. Uh, it also keeps drawing uh, available for us, which is quite nice. Um, let's do this for now. Let's go ahead and attack in. Perfect. Uh... Let's do this. We're just gonna plus up here. I don't really think we need to go too crazy. Um, let's drop this. We'll drop one of these uh, and we'll throw this down. So next turn we can get the Shark Typhoon down, uh, which is good. We do just need to kind of draw into more stuff. So hopefully we can get there. Uh, Fires of Invention, okay. Uh, really glad we have the Teferi out, to be honest. Gives us a bounce target for it. Ah, okay. Um, sure. So, we'll play that. We'll plus here. Let's play out the Shark Typhoon. And we get to Growth Spiral. Perfect. Whoops. Let's play out this here. That way we can leave up the Cycling Land uh, in case we just... We do have 26 lands, so it's very possible that we just draw a bunch of lands. Um, so uh, the better off we are here uh, with these cyclers, that's definitely better for us. Um, okay. Still short of land, it looks like, uh, which is very unfortunate for the opponent. I do feel for you. Um, thankfully, we don't have that problem, but <laughs> uh, yeah, they can bounce. 
certainly a good good play. So they did finally get their land, uh, albeit just a little bit late. Let's go ahead and cycle this here. Hopefully we hit a non-land. Uh, that is one danger of this deck I'm running into a lot. Uh, and just playtesting it prior, I was running where I was just getting land after land. Uh, I think there was one game where I drew like eight in a row or something ridiculous like that. So uh, unfortunately that is a risk of uh, running so many. All right, uh, thankfully they don't have a creature yet, uh, though I guess they can just play Yorian and hit a Dream, dream Trawler off of the Luka. Uh, they may just also have something else that would work. Looks like they didn't, that's good for us. Luka is scary. Uh, the Lu the Jeskai Luka deck, this one right here, is dangerously scary. Um, just because it can really, really come out of nowhere and do some crazy good work. Um, and see, this is what we're running into. Uh, this is why I think we should definitely be trimming down just a little bit. The reason I say that, uh, yeah, it's really important to hit our six lands, don't get me wrong, but we've also got rampers already in the deck. Um, Grow Spiral, I think, does you know kind of want you to have a high land count, which is important, um, but I don't think 26 is the appropriate number i think we could go a little bit lower and now here this is where we're seeing we're just stalling out um and they've obviously got a lot to do here i'm gonna i'll wait a turn um but the chances are we're probably just gonna concede here um surprising they're plussing uh normally you minus two and just like go ham um get something like a dream trawler out oh my goodness well all right Let's concede. <laughs> Unfortunately, not a good start for this. Uh, we'll, we'll of course give it two more games in this video and then probably another video as well. Um, but a little bit rough there. Um, we did level up. Let's go ahead and open a quick pack. Uh, guessing we just got gems, yeah, all right. All right, let's jump into a second game and see how we do. Um, I mean, it's a cool deck. It's a cool idea. Uh, and it really likes to capitalize on the Shark Typhoon, which is sweet. Um, but I think against <clears throat> the current meta, it's a bit of a problem. Uh, and unfortunately, it just doesn't have a ton that it does. Uh, I mean, it plays a lot of lands. Um, <laughs> do we keep this? I mean, this is an interesting hand uh, because it does have the sweepers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. This is a sketchy keep, so this is by no means a fault of the deck uh, if we don't get there right away, but we're going to do the best we can. Uh, glad we got the Growth Spiral. It does mean we can Temple Garden next turn, draw, and then play a land. Um, that's also not bad, actually. Um, uh, let's just Growth Spiral here, I think. Uh, we need to make sure that we're getting our fourth land on time. Um... And so far, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So we need to be very, very conscious of that. Uh, this would have given us the option to make sure that we hit an R set. Unfortunately, we did not. Uh, let's go ahead and play this out. Next turn, if we need to, we will just shatter. Um, we can't really risk it too much. We've got double shatter now, so that doesn't feel quite as bad. Uh, but we do really, uh, weirdly, we need lands in this instance. Um, so... Uh, we can't block, I suppose, actually. If we do, we um, we lose the mana. Ugh, goodness gracious. Um, so, do we just go for Narset? <clears throat> I'm going to go Narset here. Um, <clears throat> with the intention of stalling and wanting them to kind of play out more than they necessarily need to. We're going to discard a Calyx here and we're going to get rid of that. Um, and this does give us our land. That's very, very good. All right. Uh, this just dug us further into our deck. That was a big significant reason to do that. <clears throat> sure.
They can just kill Narset, that's fine. We knew that going into it, so not super worried about it. Uh, okay, that's another land, that's good. Um, the question is, do we play Whirlwind or do we just shatter here? Um, because it may be a bit greedy to play the Whirlwind. I think it is. Um, we do really need that land. Let's go ahead and shatter here. Thankfully, we do have another Shatter as backup. Um, interesting. Not what I expected at all. Okay. Cool. Um, with that in mind, I'm going to play the Whirlwind here. Uh, they're going to deal one next turn, potentially more than that. Um, but this gives us a little bit of a card draw engine. It also makes them commit a little bit more. Um, which is very good for us. And now we also have Oath of Kaya to kind of deal with something here if we'd like. We can also Calyx to get rid of either of these. Uh, excuse me, we do not have Oath of Kaya quite yet. Um, okay. Let's minus three, and let's get rid of this. Um, both of these are really problematic cards, but I think that we really have to get rid of Heliod there. <coughs> and this is what I mean. Like, the deck has tools. It's got some really great tools. Don't get me wrong at all. Um, I just don't know truly how great it is or not. Um, and that's okay. We'll see. Uh, my assumption is they did not have a Heliod, or they just really wanted to draw a card. Um, okay. So now we do have Oath, so we can get rid of something there, and then Narset Ancient Way? Seems pretty good. Um, let's get rid of you. Let's play this out there. And again, this is just where the value comes in. We're just drawing tons and tons of cards, which is awesome. Uh, we'll do this. Um, we'll discard a Paradise Druid. And let's get rid of Healer's Hawk. Um, again, knowing that we've got a lot of lands in the deck and we haven't drawn a ton of them quite yet, uh, I'm going to hold on to this just so we've got the Cycler. They want to swing in at Narset, they certainly can, um, but that's going to cost them a couple points of life and gain us a little bit. Granted, they don't care too much about their life total at the moment, but... Okay. Let's do this. Hmm. This isn't a fight you win. We're going to bounce this. Another Oath of Kaya. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, at this point, we're really just wanting a Shark Typhoon, I suppose. Um, let's cycle this. A Calyx? Okay. Um, we'll play this lamb. Just go ahead and attack in here. This is interesting. This is a very interesting matchup. Um, this is a bit of a slower mono white list that I'm used to playing. It's a very, or used to playing against, I should say. Uh, and it's technically not mono white, I guess, but uh, this is a very cool card, is what I will say. There is the Shark Typhoon. Let's do that. I've got time. Uh, let's do this. It's pretty good. Do we just shatter here? Yeah, I kind of think we do. I guess we could have waited. Uh, we did up to fairy, so that was a bit of a mistake, I suppose, but. All right. 
we could have waited for them to commit a little bit more to the board if they were going to, uh, is the thing there. Nice card. Good thing we have an oath of Kyle. <laughs> Do that. I am not making this up as I go. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't matter which one we'll keep. We'll get rid of a Johnny. I guess we could have played that out too. Um, let's play Calyx though. Kind of want to get rid of some of these little permanents here that are a bit annoying. Um, let's take out you and we'll throw it on the shark typhoon okay um yeah we can just cycle away this catria trium if we'd like um and this feels really good i'll go ahead and say this feels great yeah there we go we've pretty much got a pretty good lock on the game uh, that felt a lot better than any of the games that I've played, uh, with this deck so far. Um, and like I said, I played like three or four off camera, uh, to kind of just get a little bit of practice because this is kind of a, an odd list. Um, but it's sweet. It is very sweet. Let's go ahead and jump into game three and see how it goes. Um, and thank you again to turn one soul ring. Really do appreciate, uh, when anybody submits decks. I know Adam from Instagram has submitted a ton um, a lot of which we've played, maybe just not specific versions of his, so I do apologize uh, for not necessarily crediting the right person there. But uh, uh, if this had a Greenland, um, this is much more usable. Uh, yeah, it's not great, I'll be honest, um, but it's not bad either. If we draw some more lands, we're, we're okay, and the Paradise Druids definitely help, so we'll probably... We'll probably ditch one of the Paradise Druids because my guess is we'll be looking to play this into, you know, a Shatter or a Cycled Shark Typhoon pretty quickly. Um, but we'll see. We shall see. Oh, what an interesting list. This has been a very fun list. Um, opponent taking a little bit longer to decide. That's okay. Um, guys, really, really excited, by the way, um, the land cycle that we created, we officially have confirmation that they are shipping right now. They are on their way. My, uh, assumption is those will be available by the end of the week. Um, so if you're interested in picking up that full cycle, we've had a lot of questions about that. Um, you can certainly do so. We will let everybody know, uh, once they are available via social media, things like that. Uh, it'll also just be up on the website so you can check it out there. But, um, we also have, I'm really excited about a little ad, uh, that I've created. I know you guys normally see the little Patreon ad at the beginning of our videos. Um, I do have one created for those lands once they are all available. Uh, so very excited, very, very exciting stuff. It's cool to be able to say we've, we've made our own lands. Um, and it's cr even cooler to be able to say that people really like those lands. Um, we've had a number of people say that they really, really like them. Uh, let's not take damage. Uh, if we can help it. They're playing Rakdos, assuming, you know, or Grixis maybe, or something like that. We don't want to be taking unnecessary damage. Um, next turn, I don't really know what we'll want to do. We'll see what they play. Mardu. I'm going to guess Knights. Yep. Oath, and, uh, Oath of Kaya that. 100%. Or Narset that. Uh, no, I'm gonna Oath of Kaya. I think that's better right now. Um, we'll see, of course, but, uh, Narset of the Ancient Way, very, very good card. I like Narset a lot. Um, since it's, since it was spoiled, I've really enjoyed Narset. Uh, the, my biggest thing is I didn't really have anything I wanted to discard. Um, we obviously would have drawn a card in that process, but, like, it's not something we want to get rid of. It's difficult to actually get rid of it. Um, that's a bummer. We pass. Weird that we're having mana issues in a 26 land deck. A little strange, gonna be honest, but that's okay. Um, 
sure. I honestly, I think I'm just going to cycle this away for one. We really, really need to hit a land. So let's just do that. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my goodness. Seriously. Uh, well, I mean, we can't block it, so... Wow. Still no land. That's pretty amazing. And a 26-card deck. Almost half the deck is, is, uh, is land, and we are missing them. That is pretty bad. Um, okay. That helps. Um... In this case, we're going to try and just straight kill the Stormfist Crusader. We can try and block this, so we just won't attack there. Um, and they may very well just, like, shock this, for all I know. But Okay. Uh, yep, let's do this. This also just helps us hit more lands. We just need to hit more lands. Um, drawing cards is very crucial. Uh... What do we get rid of here? Probably just an oath, right? It's exactly enough to kill this. Um, I'm very, very happy to see this here because that does mean we have second white to shatter the sky if need be. Uh, and against this kind of deck, that's very important. So uh, my expectation is they're probably just going to kill this shark. Yep. Dire tactics on a 1-1 one, one shark feels bad, but that way they can kill in, uh, kill the Narset, excuse me. Sure. Very good, very good. At least we gain a little bit of life in that process. Um, Alright, how do we want to do this? I think I'm going to stay on the ramp plan a little bit here. So we're going to do this. We'll keep this one. That's fine. We're going to get rid of that, gain a few life, and then play this out there. This just ensures one, two, three, four, five, six, that if we would like to, at least, we can play the Shark Typhoon next turn. Um, now, they're, they're going to be swinging in here, obviously. That makes sense. Um, but... This just guarantees us a way to get the Shark Typhoon down. Um, oh, double shatter. That's amazing. Um, let's go ahead and commit to this right now. Um, we're going to take a big hit here, no doubt, but I'd rather have this out now than um, losing it uh, or, or trying to play it later in the game when it's really not going to do too much. Um, next turn, probably am just going to shatter. They're presumably going to be playing some more creatures out here, so I'd prefer them to uh, all be dead. <laughs> um, Embercleave. Ooh, definitely going to shatter. Yeah, that's very good. Okay. Um, I guess let's do this first. Uh, and then let's shatter here. Now they get to draw a card off of this, which is not great for us, but um, hopefully a little more manageable. Um, and then we'll just play that out. Next turn, we do get to play either another Shatter or a Shark Typhoon, a second Shark Typhoon, um, which is pretty solid. We do have to just be really, really careful because obviously that Ember Cleave uh, ups the clock on their side quite a bit. Um, so we just have to make sure we're very, very cognizant of that. Um, it'd be great to draw like a Calyx. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Calyx doesn't do it, does it? Um, what would be good? Uh, like a Teferi just to bounce that would be fine. That's doable, like manageable as is. So even with Embercleave, uh, that's fine. Um... I think I'm gonna shatter once more here. I'm gonna cycle this here. Narset's quite good. We just kind of need ways to kill their creatures as much as possible here. So Narset, very, very good. 
Um, they've got plenty of cards in hand, so I'm assuming they've got enough creatures to deal with whatever we do. Um, I just want to make sure that we can, you know, if they're going to play them out carefully, like one for one or two for two by two or whatever, um, that we can manage those as best we can. And there we go. Um, Teferi's actually a very good draw. Let's play out Teferi here. Get our 3-3. Three, three. We're going to bounce this. Another Shatter, also very good. Um, let's play out Narset here. Um, I kind of think I'm just going to plus here. Uh, we kind of just want to gain some life, I think. Um, and now we've got a couple blockers up. Uh, if they do have another Dire Tactics, obviously they can get one of these guys, but not both. Um, and we can now Insta Speed shatter uh which will be quite good i think <clears throat> yep like i said they can dire tactics one of them all right uh, another land um let's do this So, that would leave us three mana, which is not quite enough. Um, begins within. Oops. So we shatter here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that does leave us enough to get second Shark Typhoon down and clear the board. Ooh, a whirlwind as well. That's quite good. Um, yeah, I think that's correct to do that. Um, sure. And now we have a 6-6 six, six Flying Shark. <laughs> uh, and now every time we play any spell in our deck, uh, we get two sharks out of the deal. Um, I mean, this feels cool. I'm not going to lie. That is pretty cool. Um, dire Tactics, that's fine. Not super worried about that. A Calyx. Let's do that first. Let's do this. Uh, I don't think it matters too much. Seems good. Um... seems really good at honestly um let's do this let's just keep them off of everything um i think that's pretty important for us let's go ahead and play that out and pass all right this is the turning point um i guess we can emblem turn one soul ring i apologize for my negativity um this deck seems kind of sweet. Uh, mm hmm. Nothing. That kind of sucks. Um, all right, there we go. <laughs> all right, well, three games. We got two of them. Um, this deck, despite feeling, I will say it still feels a bit clunky at times. Um, but all that to say... Uh, that went fairly well. Um, when you go over the top, man, you really go over the top. So thank you for the deck suggestion. We'll, of course, do another three games. So we'll take another peek at this deck and kind of sum up our thoughts on it uh, at the end of that video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Of course, if you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. We certainly would appreciate it. Uh, and uh, make sure to submit your deck. Uh, if you've got a deck suggestion that you would like submitted so that we can kind of test it out and play it on the channel, uh, we'd absolutely love to do so. So thank you very much again to Turn One Soul Ring and all of you for watching. And I will see you very soon with part two of this Narset Typhoon deck. Five colors. Very, very awesome.